Local 24 is your local election headquarters, and tonight Shelby County Democrats and the NAACP are taking their fight over early voting locations to court. Good evening, everyone. I'm Katina Rankin. And I'm Richard Ransom. The two lawsuits come after debates surrounding the Election Commission's changes to only open the Agri Center the first few days of early voting. Local 24's Mary Jo Ola, she is live in downtown Memphis, where Democrats talked about why they're doing this. Mary Jo. Yeah, Katina and Richard, you know, this is an effort to get all of the polling locations open for the entire early voting period. People who are out here today say that the Election Commission's recent de decision to drop the Agri Center and open a place in Germantown and a place in Whitehaven doesn't do enough for voters. Now, there are two lawsuits in Chancery Court. The Democratic Party's suit centers on their concern over how they say the commission worked for six months to only open the Agri Center for the first few days of early voting and announce that change last minute. The NAACP's lawsuit brings into question discrimination and how a large population is disenfranchised. We want to get into the decision-making process to figure it out. We also want um, some relief as it pertains to um, the, the voters that were disenfranchised. And so they, we'll have our day in court and they'll have an opportunity to explain to us how we got to where we are today and how they're going to solve it to make sure that our voters aren't disenfranchised. Now, the head of the Shelby County Republicans did send us a statement saying, in part, the lawsuit by the Shelby County Democrats is simply a publicity stunt to drive out their base. The so-called blue wave has fizzled and desperate times call for desperate measures. And Richard Katina, of course, this is all unfolding a week before early voting gets started. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Mary Joola, Local 24 News.